Today we're going to demonstrate how to replace PRS tubing on Rainbird and Rainbird Eagle series rotors. Here are the PRS replacement tubes we'll be using. Notice one of the tubes has a set of retention clamps on it. These clamps are meant to retain the high pressure tubing on the rotor case assembly. The tube with two retention clamps is the high pressure tube and the one without the clamps is the low pressure tube. Let's review the required tools. We have a heat gun, but you can also use a blow dryer or a similar device. We've got a utility knife that we're going to use to cut the tubes for easier removal, a flat bladed screwdriver which will allow us to help move the retention clamps, a pair of snips to trim the new tubes to the appropriate size, an eagle selector service tool, and something like a large screwdriver with a plastic handle to remove the PRS housing assembly from the case. Using the selector service tool, remove the PRS retaining nut as well as the PRS cartridge. Dislodge the PRS housing to allow the tubes to come out of the channels on the case. Using a flathead screwdriver, slide the retention clamps out of the way. Use a utility knife to make an incision along the ends of the tubing. Cut away from your hands and body and always leave your blade closed when not in use. It should be very easy to remove the low pressure tube. The high pressure tube is a little more difficult due to the retention clamp, so an additional incision may be needed, as well as some encouragement from a flathead screwdriver. Repeat this process for the PRS housing. On the PRS housing assembly, you'll notice one elbow is higher than the other. The higher elbow is for the high pressure tube, which will have a retention clip, and the other side is for the low pressure tube. Place the new tubes alongside the old tubes and measure out the appropriate length. Use the snips to trim the tubes. This is the high pressure tube, so let's move the retention clamps to this tube. Repeat for the low pressure tube. As you can see, the high pressure tube is slightly longer than the low pressure tube, since the high pressure tube has to travel a longer distance down the case. Next, attach the high pressure tube with its retention clamp to the base of the case. Heat one end of the tube, but be careful not to overheat it, as it will begin to melt. Put it into place with the retention clip, and then slide it onto the elbow. It may take a little extra heat. Let it cool before applying the retention clip and repeat this process for the low pressure tube. Place the second retention clip onto the high pressure tube. Using a flathead screwdriver, slide the bottom retention clip down, being careful not to damage the tube. Alternating pressure on one side and then the other will help when applying the retention clip. Now let's attach the PRS housing. We can heat both of these tubes simultaneously. Remember, the longer high pressure tube is attached to the higher elbow, and the shorter low pressure tube is attached to the lower elbow. Carefully slide the retention clip into place and tuck the tubes into their channels on the case. Replace the PRS cartridge and PRS retainer nut, and that's it. We've successfully replaced the PRS tubing on a Rainbird Eagle Series rotor case. Thanks for watching.